Phoenix changed the essential makeup of its team this year when it traded for Charles Barkley, but there have been other important additions, Danny Ainge, of course, and two rookies. Yesterday, we brought you the story of Oliver Miller. Today, we've got the lowdown on Richard Dumas. Dumas didn't intend for this to be his first year in the NBA, but that's the way it turned out. Anna Storm reports. Richard Dumas is an American former professional basketball player. Now this story begins with Duma's childhood. His fam moved around a lot when he was growing up. His father, Rich Dumas, actually played for the ABA at one point. When he was growing up, he had to deal with social anxiety. When he was at the tender age of four, his father would give him a beer just for him to calm down as he was dealing with earlyhood childhood ADHD at the time. He would also steal his mother's pills and take them when she wasn't looking. While he was in high school, the basketball thing really took off for him. However, he wasn't too comfortable being in the spotlight. So in order to take the edge off, he would drink multiple beers to the face before basketball games and walking into a live crowd. After high school, things got worse. Dumas continued to abuse drugs and alcohol in college at Oklahoma State where he earned a full ride scholarship. Now his substance abuse would cause him to flunk out of class with a 0.7 grade point average. He was just partying the whole time, but all the fun ended when he found out that he couldn't hoop anymore due to his low grades. He was actually arrested during college for stealing alcohol during a beer run. He went to play in Israel for a year, and after that, he entered his name into the draft. Dumas, a six foot seven small forward, was selected with the 46th pick of the 1991 NBA draft by the Phoenix Suns. Just before the start of the 1991-92 season, Dumas was suspended from the NBA for violating its substance abuse policy for consuming crack cocaine. Unfortunately, as his pay increased, so did his drug intake. His rookie season officially started during the 1992-93 fantastic Phoenix Suns season, averaging 15 points and four boards a game. He earned a NBA All-Rookie second team placement this season, all while assisting his squad to an NBA best 62 wins and an NBA Finals appearance against the dynasty of the 1990s. They were eventually eliminated in the finals after six games. Now, after a stint in rehab, he returned in 1995 to the Suns under John Lucas, who was a former NBA player who had overcome drug abuse himself. Dumas ended his NBA run with the 76ers in 1996. From between 1991 to 1996, Dumas failed multiple drug tests. He then refused to go to rehab, so the NBA decided to permanently ban him for his consistent drug abuse and violating their policies. Dumas went to play overseas. He officially retired from basketball in 2003. He went under the radar for close to a decade after that. Now around 2012, he started a basketball program. However, he got into some, some trouble for stealing cigarettes 
alcohol, food, DVDs, and shoes from Luke Air Force Base Exchange Store, and it all added up to about $800 worth. And Dumas received three years probation for this. Fortunately, Dumas got some help when he entered a mental illness program where he discovered that he has multiple social disorders. He stated that maybe if I knew this stuff, I wouldn't have needed a six pack before the game. Maybe I would have been in the NBA and made millions like everybody always talks about. Now, this is the coolest breakdown. Now, if you like content like this, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share. I appreciate y'all. I'm out. Peace.